12 years later and Victorian Street is still my arch enemy in terms of coins. 12 years later and I still missed a coin. I'm going to show where it is on the screen now. Big thanks to Violet. I think I may have actually known where that was, but I forgot. How embarrassing. Anyhow, a uh, second thing I want to touch on. Uh, Seekers. Apparently they behave very differently than they do in the final game. However, I don't really know too much because, like I said, I don't really know that much about the behavior of them because I never use them. But one thing that I may want to emphasize on, I said that they were slow moving. I meant before they acquire their target. Once they acquire a target, they're really quick. But when they're just moving, you know, by themselves without any target, they're rather slow compared to the other ammo types. And uh, third thing I want to just touch on, the uh, in the Victorian Street um, demo, I said where it ends, that is in 1.23. That is not in um, 1.00G because they have their own demo reels, and I did not know that. Maybe I'll show those off in the bonus part, but for now, I'm not, not going to, you know, bother going in on that. Just my mistake. Anyhow, back to the back to the game. Hey everybody, it's Kent Koopas here, and welcome back to some more Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 1.00G. In the last part, we finished up Colonial Chaos, and we're going to start Beach here. Now, fans of the series are probably wondering, why are we on Beach? This is usually the last level of this episode, not the second. Well, in this version, the uh, beach is first, and that's because the next level, which I'm not going to spoil what it is in case you've never played the game for some reason, is, um, was originally going to have a boss, but, uh, you know, it was cut, so it was made the second level instead of the, uh, instead of the third. And we'll get into what that cut boss was in the next part, but for now, let's just go on. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I do not remember this level very well, so I may miss a few things and whatnot, but... Anyhow, here's an introduction to TNT Ammo. Now, TNT Ammo just, you know, does this. It'll sit there and then explode. And you can do that, or if you place TNT here and the enemy walks near, it explodes instantly, and that's pretty much the final destination for, uh, for our enemies. Another thing uh, I just want to notice here, hit detection on these uh, balls here are a little iffy. Some of them work, some of them don't. I'm not sure if that's a vent, an event problem or um, uh, a masking problem, but no, I don't feel that I need to go into it. It's like that in the final game as well, as far as I know. I love this music, by the way. Get used to it, though. Enjoy it while you can, though. This is the only level in the game it appears in. Like, um, like, Col like Colonial, in the next level, the music is replaced by a special one-time music cue. However, that one actually remain to the final game. Points. Now, don't do what I did. In my first take of this video, I tried to blow up this TNT and I got an access violation. So apparently the game is glitching right now. So, don't blow that up. <laughs> well, unless you want your game to crash. I don't know if I don't know if every version is like that, but for some reason my version is corrupt like that. I know the Hawaiian. I want that gold coin, and you are gonna give me that gold coin. Thank you. Be careful here. Oh, never mind. I was thinking something else. More coinage. Yes, coinage. I officially dubbed the coinage. And this is a this coin is a pain in the butt. Okay? The only way I think I the easiest way is to just get to the very, very, very edge. And or, or you can just wing it. There you go. We don't have enough coins, so let's go over here and let's hope this doesn't crash my game this time. Ah. Holy shit, that scared me. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that loud. And now there are coins, and let's go to the warp. So the power if I think something I haven't touched on, I believe. I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I believe that if you run out of ammo while weapon power up, powered up, you lose that power. And now here's a little bit of it, something interesting you may have not known. It's the same, it's the same thing here, but we're at the end of the level. Why is there a checkpoint at the very end of the level? Well, some fans have speculated, or 
maybe I just speculated that this level was that the uh, first level here was maybe going to be in a different order, and it was originally going. This is originally going to be the boss area, and as you can see here, if you go over here, there's more than enough room to be a boss, so it's possible. And now on the next level, we got generic water level. <laughs> God, I did not know it was called generic water level. I'm not sure if it's like that in the final game, but <laughs> I'll, I'll have to look that up. I'll flash up on the screen if that's what it is in the final game. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the only level, at least as far as I remember, this is the only level in the game to feature water. Water, as you can, well, as you probably don't see, it's much different than this in the final game. It doesn't have the ripple effect that it puts across the screen. It just you know, waves it. I'll put up a, cons a comparison screenshot in the corner. There you go. Also, another thing you may not know, this level uh, was originally very different in terms of, you know, background and whatnot. I'll post up what it looked like on the corner of the screen just so you know you can have a look. actually looked really cool and if you actually look at the tile set in the final game you can still see pieces of that background though you can't really fit it together anymore so anyhow let's keep going and here we have an introduction to our i think it's rf ammo i think i'm wrong on that uh, i'll pass one on the screen if i am wrong anyhow this ammo yeah it's basically a it fires two two rockets in a v shape and you're going to notice in the in this version of the game, if the rockets explode without actually hitting anything, they don't make like a, an explosion sound. If they do hit something like here, then they make the sound. Really weird like that. And these are bubblers. These will prevent you from going up. And here we have the most annoying enemy in the game, in my opinion. The fish. <laughs> these things. If you get within a certain range of them, they will home in on you and and just rape you. I hate those fish. I am sorry, but those fish can kiss it. The best thing, the, your best defense against them is seeker ammo. That's the home in on them, so. I'm probably just gonna end up using my seeker ammo here because I hate those things so much. That was like my least favorite part of my entire blaster only hard mode. Run through with not being able to use seeker ammo on these freaking fish. And here are dragonflies. Uh, I'll show you what they do the next time I see them. There's going to be tons of them in the next level, so don't worry. I love this music too. This is music. This is a one-time, a one-time song. I'm going to use my seeker ammo. Cheap. See? That's, that stuff's fast. It wants to acquire the target. That stuff is fast. I think. I don't know why, I think this, the sound, the underwater sounds are different. Yeah, they, they definitely sound a little different, not by much. But the um, underwater sounds in the final game seem a lot deeper. These ones seem like a little more high pitched. Yeah, definitely, I can hear it. Freaking fish, I'll see you in hell. This is what I mean. See, they're actually fairly slow fail. Omen on the target, that's what I meant to say in the last episode, which of course I touched upon. And this ba underwater background is so awesome. This is an evil fish location. It's hard to get there without getting hit. Well, I guess not really, but it's just evil. I'm sorry, I'm never going to touch on or give up on how evil those things are. I hate them. If there's one enemy in the game I want destroyed, it's those. Gems. I mean, a sugar rush that I barely even notice. I'm gonna go get carrots here. You see? Oh, God, I love these things. They make this level bearable. Oh yeah. What am I trying to use toaster ammo underwater? Have I, have I completely lost it? 
I mean, come on. Every law of physics states that water, that fire does not work underwater. Well, I guess it does if it's hot enough, but, wow. Well. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to go into any of that crap. Now, I believe if we go up here, there are some coins. Yes, there are. If we go down here. And here we go. We have the introduction. We have the introduction of RF ammo power up. Which increases his damage and it fires three of them. And here we have a bubble shield, a water shield as well. And I believe it was either Jake or something. Someone someone posted something about shields, about you know how much time you get in the final game, depending on what you do to them. I'll post that up on the screen so you can, you know, read. Anyway, we're talking about gonna grab this. And I love that that set upward part. To be honest, I don't get why they gave you a shield. I mean, yeah, a boss is coming up, as you probably already know, but... Oh, okay. <coughs> I don't let my shields run up. I don't want a shield for the boss. Alrighty, and here we go. We're coming up to our second to a second boss. This is Ultras, I believe is how you pronounce his name. As you can see, he's uh, his sprite is very different from in the final game. In the final game, he actually comes at, goes in and out of his shell. In this game, he's just static in his shell. And he is annoying to fight. And, and I'm trying to sit here and explain this while fighting a very annoying boss. And, uh, yeah, I believe in hard mode, in easy mode he has less spikes, on hard mode he has more of them. But yeah, in the, in, in the uh, final game, once you get to a second phase here, also don't bust stomp those spikes. Your game will crash if you try and bust stomp those spikes in this version. He's invincible right now, you have to destroy his spikes. And once they're destroyed, you can do damage to him. And as you can see, uh, in the final game you can only attack him when his, um, uh, when, his, when he's out of his shell, but in this version you can just attack him whenever. I'm gonna of course flash up on the screen, you know, what it looks like in the final game. And in this version he doesn't explode either, he just drops. I'll show what it looks like in the corner. And actually I'll do it at the end of the video here. And here we start out Psychic. I love this level. Hippie heaven indeed. Anyhow, on the next part we're gonna start out we're going to sidekick him. We're going to continue on. Anyhow, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.